What is going on guys? We got Daddy Dio here, Grandpa Dio, and we are headed up to Milliken. So it's 11.32 right now because Milliken doesn't open until noon, and you may see there's no bike in the back if you haven't been following along. Uh, Yeti is currently getting its suspension serviced and an engine overhaul with uh, Tyler down at Applied Technology Suspension and Race Tech. So my bike is down this weekend, but my buddy Darren, he has a 2019 Yamaha 250F, and he wanted to ride this weekend. He's like, hey, you can ride my bike if you'd like, and I was like, yeah, dude, I, I'm already missing riding. So we're headed up. Uh, Milliken is his home track real close to his house. So we're gonna meet up and ride his bike. So I really appreciate Darren letting us uh, rip his bike this weekend and should be a lot of fun. So dad came up to get the third person footage and uh, I'm gonna try and keep this video a little shorter than normal, maybe 15, 20 minute range. So I guess you guys will already know how long it, it is, but let's get on up there and uh, rip it today. All right, we got Tony out here. He's gonna go check it out. Then we got Darren. That's his buddy's bike. He'll be riding today. And then here's the beast I'll be riding. So really excited to uh, check it out and get that yammer hammer power. About time. Yes, sir. Uh, the Yamaha looks pretty good, but it needs one thing. Oh, geez. <laughs> All right, that's better. You're not worthy of actually having my sticker on your bike, so I just taped it on so I can take it after. Don't worry, you're gonna look away at some point. It's getting stuck on there. <laughs> All right, we got the fresh Alpine stars looking good. We're gonna go out on Darren's bike, do our first little warm up laps, and uh, learn some with the Yamaha. So let's go get it. All right, here we go. First time out on Darren's Yammer Hammer. Got my watch with my RP mount, just transfer that over and uh, have a little push to start here. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I do wish I had that. I know people give me grief, but I do wish I had that as it dies on me. Let's let it warm up a little bit more, I guess. Yeah, super nice. Just rolled on right behind me as I walked over. So he's gonna, he knows the track a little bit, but he's of course gonna be trying to figure out that Yamaha and that it's a 250, of course. All right, here comes Daniel. Just completed one lap. He's already looking pretty good. A bike he's totally unfamiliar with. something there but it's really interesting because when I first got the Honda when I rode my big cats racing 17 450 the Honda felt really small and I like that this feels even smaller like I realize it's a 250 so uh it's gonna be lighter obviously but the, the bike uh, 450 right here they're the same height and everything or at least very close but everything feels really small on it it feels pretty nimble I know people have talked about Yamaha's feeling light I didn't feel that at all it's really snappy coming out of the corners. It can grab those insides really easily. Like 
Millican has the inside before the finish line and before the flyaway jump over there. And you can just hook it right into that inside. Feels really good. Obviously the suspension isn't set up for me, but it feels fine. It's a little soft maybe, but it doesn't hurt or anything. Um, it kind of like when it's at idle and you roll the throttle, if you roll it a little bit, it doesn't really like to go. You have to give it quite a bit of gas. And it's weird at like having it pinned and revved out way more than the 450, but I felt really, really good on it, honestly. And uh, I'm not ready to say like that a uh, YZ250F would be my next bike, but I want to be opposed to it. I might be a little big, but this was a lot of fun and I'm really excited to ride it the rest of the day. So it's pretty obvious because it's a 250F, but man, you just have to work so much harder for the power. And it's like, it has a lot of power out of the corners. Like when I get on the gas, it pulls me really good, but like going up this step up or coming up the hill after it, you're just on the gas pinned and shifting. And it's like, bike, go, just the 450 spoils you so much. But I'm having a lot of fun with this 250. Knowing him, he's probably just sitting somewhere on the track waiting though. Probably. He just rides to the other side hey. and sits. Little bikes only. Oh. Except for that guy. <laughs> yeah. He said it's uh, Benny's only. Oh. I'm just going to run over and tell my dad real quick. Almost missed my Kickstarter. <laughs> Hey dad, it's little bikes only. It's minis only. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we'll wait a bit, but then we'll be out. All right, Just thanks. wanted you to know. Yep. So I guess the whole crew's coming over. dude it's awesome to have you cheering me on from the side of the track all right guys i keep forgetting to mention it and for some reason youtube isn't letting me link it anymore but i do have my patreon uh if you enjoy my videos for as little as five dollars a month you can sign up for patreon get videos early your, your name is in the credit if you've seen that before it says thank you patrons or patrons but um for five dollars a month you know i try to make videos like at least once a week usually but um if you just want to help me out that goes to riding expenses you know gas for the bike gas for the truck new tires air filter oil that kind of stuff um and hopefully some race fees this year might be a little different but there are some races I want to hit. So not like a guilt trip or anything. I appreciate all of you watching no matter what. If you don't want to pay, totally get it. But that is an option if you want to support the channel just a little bit more. Just want to let you guys know. Thank you. All right, we're having a blast out here. We're just hanging out now. But a uh, good old time. And David's over there with his daughter. David isn't riding today. He had hurt his shoulder. But uh, having a lot of fun on the 250. And it's interesting because of course it's lighter and I'm bigger, so it makes the, the power not as good, but I can handle it and throw it around a bit more. So it's almost like a give and take, but having a lot of fun with it. Uh, Dad's getting the good clips for the third person and now we're just taking a little break now before we go back out.
say he's getting used to that 250. <laughs> trying to hit the like, camelback triple after that left hand corner and I was hitting the inside and we got footage of that and then I was like maybe I can do it on the outside but I was jumping it just as far in the inside I just can't get a good run and I'm just a little too big the 250 doesn't have quite enough power I was just as close hitting the inside as the outside but we gave it a good try and I'm having a blast with it just ripping it around I feel really good on that 250 I, I really do I of course I prefer my Honda and don't worry guys I've heard it all before you know I used to do the track attacks I used to ride other people's bikes way more and I always got like why does Dio look faster on X bike or Dio always looks better on other people's bikes and I don't know what it is but I do feel really good on that so I'm sure you guys are already thinking it that I look better than on Yeti but uh this just makes me excited to get back on Yeti and have that power back but this has been a wonderful change of pace for the weekend I can't thank Darren enough for letting me ride his bike but we're having a blast out here at Millican the weather's beautiful it's a little windy but not even it doesn't even mess with you and it's kind of clearing out a little bit right now people are getting out of here but we're having a good time all right so Tony's loading up here Darren's got his Budweiser out he's done for the day I'm gonna go in and put in one little moto I'm not gonna push too hard the track it's it's getting dusty it's kind of going away so I just want to put in a few more laps on the Yamaha here so go ride a little bit finish up we did a 22 minute well 20 minutes and then one cool down lap so 22 minute moto to finish out the day it was a blast my hands are feeling it quite a bit and uh, Darren doesn't run grip donuts and I've noticed when I ride I actually like even push in actually the left side will show it better I push in right there and without grip donuts I tear it up right there so I know that doesn't look like much but it's already stinging a bit but we had a blast Darren thank you again for letting me ride your bike really appreciate it and um, yeah that was a lot of fun I don't, I don't know if my next bike could be a 250. I might just be a little too big for it, but it was fun to throw this around and definitely a good change of pace. But um, everyone's loading up now, so let's uh, make do and get on out of here.
Tony said he had a surprise for me, so uh we got you, your oh. favorite. Oh my man, thank you, Tony. Appreciate you. And Darren said he had one too. Ooh, nice tush back there. <laughs> there you are, man. Thank you guys, appreciate you both. You're too good to me. They they know I love the root beer, so really awesome. Drink enough and you'll be up all night. <laughs> Since uh, the crew got me my survival drinks, Darren always has his. He's got the Budweiser and he hooked up dad, so what do you what do you have to drink afterwards? I have nothing. Ah, oh, it's rough. <laughs> Tony had some what blue moons? Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll keep it with the root beers. I always feel pretty factory because I have my factory mechanic with me, but this is a whole new level. I don't even have to load the bikes. I just got geared up, got geared out, threw my gear bag in the truck, and I'm ready to roll. Darren said I don't even need to worry about loading the bike up, so we're just uh, good to roll out like that. It's very strange, I'm not gonna lie. All right, it is 4.50 just about, and we are leaving Milliken now. I'm not sure how much time I put on Darren's bike, but that was an absolute blast. Really thankful, just it's always great. I have such a great group of friends. Darren letting me ride his bike all day long with uh, asking nothing in return for it and then giving me the root beer and Tony giving me a root beer and some Gatorade and coming up and riding and David didn't ride today but taking photos for everyone and it's just so cool to have such a such a great uh, group of friends out here. So that was a super fun time. Um, so yeah, until next time Milliken, but probably have my bike back next weekend. Hopefully we'll see, but um, yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun riding that Yamaha. And thank you guys for uh, understanding my little clickbait of, is this gonna be my next bike or whatever I title this video. Cause you know, we gotta do what we can to get views. Um, but I'm not planning on getting rid, rid of the Honda for quite some time. But, um, and actually I guess that's one more thing I can include just here at the end talking about the Yamaha. I know I've talked about just how the power felt and everything. It's definitely like more, snappy when you first roll on the throttle like the initial hit like really pulls your arms but also on my honda i have the ecu remapped so it's a little bit smoother and i i like that it has that like smooth roll on power whereas the yamaha on the 250 it has that snap and then of course it doesn't pull as hard as the 450 as you'd expect but um, i said the suspension didn't feel too bad but of course that was earlier in the day and then as the track got beat up could definitely feel it. there were some parts where there were braking bumps and it was just bouncing me around i felt super unstable just i mean to be expected the bike i'm pretty sure it's all stock suspension we didn't even uh, set the sag we checked it at the end of the day it was about 112. Um, we didn't set it i didn't change any clickers i didn't change the bars i rode it exactly how darren had it um and just so it's to be expected but throughout the day could definitely feel i was missing my fancy race tech suspension and everything but it was a lot of fun and just that uh you know i'm about 225 pounds right now and so i can move the the 250 around like i can manhandle a little bit more but then it doesn't have the pulling power so it was just some give and take as compared to my 450 but all in all it was super fun that yamaha stuck really well i i felt like i rode it well like making sure i was revving it out and not kind of just um not bogging it but riding a gear high around like i can do on the 450 but actually pushing the bike so that was really good um it used to always be on my 125 people would be like oh you're riding it too much like a 450 and it's like i ride a 450 at the time 90 percent of the time and now i ride a 450 100 percent of the time so yeah of course i'm going to ride it like a 450 because that's what i'm used to but all in all i felt like i i rode it well today and yeah it was good stuff but that'll do it i just wanted to kind of jump in and talk about the bike a little bit more since uh, i had it but Felt good with it. I'm sure with more time on it, I could push it even harder. And of course with the suspension, but now we're going to drive on home. All right, guys, we are home sweet home. We got Ezra here. He's been chilling and sleeping today, but um, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please hit that like button. If you did leave a comment down below, tell me that I should get a Yamaha 250 next or whatever you want to do. But um, again, a huge thank you to Darren. I told him like 50 times at the track. I've texted him and everything, but really means a lot. Uh, good friend out there. So that was a lot of fun riding his bike, but great day at Milliken. And uh, tomorrow is my first day back at work after I've been on leave for this little guy. So we are back to work, but luckily working from home so we can still hang out. But that's going to do it. Um, thank you guys for watching. And as always, take it easy. If it's easy, take it twice. Talk to you later.